I'm Michael Delsignori. Come on in. In today's video, I'm going to explain why OUI roadblock cases can often be very winnable cases at trial. First, there's no evidence of unsafe or erratic driving when you stopped at a roadblock. That's a major element of the government's case. Typically, they have evidence that you were all over the road. They may have evidence of an accident. But in a roadblock case, you go through cones. You stop. You, there's a lot of good driving that shows that you're not under the influence of alcohol, that you know what's going on. More than that, they actually allow you to continue driving after they stop you. So an officer who thought you were under the influence of alcohol will then say, oh, go in there and join that other officer for field tests. So you're going to drive again after being greeted by an officer. So this makes their case very difficult to prove when we can put forth evidence at trial that they let you continue to drive after they initially saw you. Finally, these cases ge generally depend almost exclusively on a walk and turn field sobriety test. And these tests are difficult. There's a lot of ways to attack their reliability. So if you arrested an OUI roadblock, feel free to call me. I'll explain the defenses that you have at these cases because often they're very winnable cases at trial. I'm Michael Del Signore. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about your roadblock arrest.